thank you. In an effort to curb gun violence, Oregonians narrowly passed Measure 114 this month. And with this measure by design, it's meant to make it harder to buy a gun and restrict larger capacity magazines in the state. Our Lisa Balick checking on the federal lawsuit that was just filed to stop Measure 114. And what's the latest, Lisa? Keep in mind, it's voters who put the measure on the ballot in the first place. Now you have some voters who want to hit the pause button and they want a judge to completely throw it out. We're not at all surprised. Measure 114 sponsors tell me they expected a court challenge. That's why they had a team of attorneys craft the measure that makes it more difficult to buy a gun and bans most large capacity magazines. The Oregon Firearms Federation filed a complaint in federal court in Pendleton asking for an injunction to block the measure from going into effect December 8th until a judge can decide if it's constitutional. I asked backers of Measure 114 if they're worried that this will put the measure on hold indefinitely. We have no way of knowing, and, and this, is, this conversation is happening nationally. Uh, and so the courts are going to have to go through, uh, through their process as well. We had reached out to the Oregon Firearms Federation for comment on the lawsuit, but have not heard back. The complaint focuses on the part of the measure that would ban sales of magazines that can hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition, asserting that's a violation of the Second Amendment, saying, quote, when confronting a violent attacker, having enough ammunition can be an issue of life or death. I asked a Lewis and Clark Law School professor about this lawsuit. The purpose of a TRO or a preliminary injunction would be not to say that uh, the judge is striking down Measure 114 as a whole, but rather the judge, I'm going to put a pause on 114 until um, we can have more hearings. Measure 114 would also require Oregonians to take a gun safety class and go through a background check to get a permit before a gun purchase in the future. The lawsuit is filed against Oregon Governor Brown and Attorney General Rosenblum. The Attorney General says she will defend the measure in court. Now, I did check and found out there are court challenges in both California and Washington state as well to the bans on the high capacity magazines. We'll be following those closely as well as the ones here. So far, no word in terms of anything from the judge in terms of a hearing coming up. We'll keep you posted. Live in South Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. All right, Lisa. Another community in mourning.